All right, everybody, it's time we finally talk about square toe cowboy boots. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and over the past year I have been wearing square toe cowboy boots much more frequently than at any other time in my cowboy boot wearing life. See, before a year ago, I probably wouldn't go out and buy some square toes. I am more of a medium round, traditional kind of guy. I really like that rounded medium look. So the square toe just never really appealed to me. But since companies have been sending me boots and I'm starting to understand why they are made the way they are, I have a new appreciation for square toe cowboy boots. And I'm gonna get into why. Some of you might say, but Jeremiah, they're ugly. Well, that always comes down to personal preference. I know Texas and Oklahoma and several of those surrounding states really like the square toe and along the East Coast and West Coast as well, except for the West Coast city. Don't even talk to LA about square toes. They hate it, but they hate a lot of things actually. So I take everything that they say with a grain of salt. Anyways, whether you think the square toe looks good or not, I gotta be honest, comfort is the main benefit of a square toe boot. You have this wide toe box here, which makes it so you can spread your toes out a little bit. You got a little bit more wiggle room, literally, and it's comfortable to be in all day. You don't have anything on the sides squeezing your foot. You know, it's a little bit easier to find a fit that's good for you. Cowboy boots can be tough to fit. So it's just a comfortable boot because you have so much space in that toe box. Now you might be thinking, but Jeremiah, the only reason why they're so popular is because the cowboy boot companies market square toe cowboy boots more frequently than any other toe style. Now, as of right now, I have seen more square toe cowboy boot ads, not including the Tacovas ads, around online. And when it comes down to it, it makes sense that a cowboy boot company would want to market square toe cowboy boots more frequently because it's just easier to find a good fitting boot. Because this toe box is so wide, the average person can slip their foot into a square toe cowboy boot and most likely find a better fit right off the bat than what they would with a medium round toe or a snip toe. The problem is, is that a lot of times you can go about a half a size smaller than what you would wear in that traditional cowboy boot. So because this toe box is so wide, that makes the taper much less. See, as you can see here, there's much less room in this toe box than there is in this toe box. That makes it possible for a person to come down a half a size. The problem is when you go a half size down, that could put the arch position for your foot in the wrong spot. So it all depends on the insole that is in the boot. You just wanna make sure that you have that support in the arch area because that could lead to some pretty significant problems down the road. But it makes sense that a cowboy boot company would wanna market a square toe cowboy boot more than another toe style just because it fits the average population better and they don't lose a lot of money making toe styles that don't feel good for the average population. Well, now you might be saying, but Jeremiah, they're not a traditional cowboy boot. This is true. You know, the traditional cowboy boot does have more of a taper on the toe, a uh, medium round, snip toe, and this is because it was easier for cowboys to slip their feet into the stirrup while horseback riding. So that might be a problem with a square toe. As you can see, it would be much easier to fit this toe through a hole then this toe, you could get hung up. My response to that is, well, there's really not that many 
traditional cowboys around, especially who wear cowboy boots. You don't have to be a cowboy to wear cowboy boots. I talked about that in a video. You can check it out up here. A lot of cowboys are also doing their ranch work on those gator all-terrain vehicles, on quads, on tractors. So you could imagine that a cowboy or a ranch worker would just want to be comfortable while they're working. They don't want their toes all squeezed up in that toe box all day for no reason. It makes a good work boot too. So I've been using this as a work boot, this Stan Post Thin Red Line, just to do construction here and there, little odd jobs. And I gotta say, it's a great boot to work in just because it is so comfortable. And it feels like a cowboy boot fit, which I really like uh, because you're able to keep your feet cool because of the heel slip. There's a lot of air that can pass through a cowboy boot while you're working. So that leads to less sweat, that leads to less stink and an overall cool comfort feeling that just feels better while you're working. I have been won over by the square toe. Are they my favorite toe style? No, but I respect them in the lineup of toe styles out there. If you like the square toe, rock it. If you like the traditional medium round toe, rock it. If you like the snip toe, rock it. The most important thing about wearing cowboy boots is that you're wearing cowboy boots. I don't care what toe style you have, nor should anybody else. Let's just enjoy cowboy boots together. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know what you think of square toe cowboy boots and if you agree or disagree with any of my comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Peace. Boots with square toes have comfort and space and you can fit into them easy anyone in any place so no matter how the trends swell and fade square toe boots are here to stay square toe boots are here to stay square toe boots are here to stay my name is jeremiah craig i will see you all next time peace